Welcome to the Round 13 clash of the North Eastern Conference in what is a cross-conference clash between the East Lake Demons and the Redlands Bombers in what's an interesting clash out here at Star Trek Oval in Marnica. Round 13, both sides sitting outside the five in their respective divisions. Promises to be an interesting contest. Of course, a, a couple of late changes. Uh, Ryan Brabazon first going back for the East Lake Demons wearing the number 10 after six weeks injury layoff. Out for the East Lake Demons is their captain in Chat Gibson as we go for the bounce down. It'll be an interesting ruck contest as young Ned Brophy Williams goes up against the, the, the might of the Redland Bombers. So uh, it's going to be anyone's games, but it's going to be first one in the middle of the ground and it's won by the uh, Redland Bombers and it's taken out by Wiles with a quick handball over the top of the back, but Maiden jumps on the ball and the Redland Bombers into it very, 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 very quickly. So, and it's just uh, packed there onto the, uh, the centre square and the umpire will have no alternative but to bounce it. So big Paxman to go at it with the... Uh, Ned Brophy Williams, it's going to be a big challenge for Ned Brophy Williams today. He gives away a few centimetres in height there. It's Paxman who gets first use of the footy, but it's straight out to Brabazon into the play early. Brabazon onto the left foot. He puts it down the ball there. Out to Young Ward's Matty Lang, who's been a star for the East Lake Demons this year. He shuffles it over to Josh Moody, the number one. Over to Lang again. He gets a quick handball off to the strongly built Ricky Stoyanoff. Stoyanoff turns around on the right and puts it down to the square there. It's young Aaron Bruce who's made a miraculous recovery from the rib injury that he sustained it two weeks ago but it comes out towards the Redland Bombers defence and they clear it away and it's a solid mark there by Damien Stephen. He gets to settle play down for the Redland side. As I said, it's a must-win game for both sides. I'm Brett Davis. This is the Round 13 clash of the North Eastern Conference in the uh, cross-conference division. So East versus Northern, and that was Stoyan off court high there. Uh, Blake Grew, the former Nifal under-22 player this year, he caught Ricky Stoyan off a little bit high there, so it was a little bit sloppy, the tackle. Stoyan off gets an opportunity to bomb the ball long. That's one part of the game that Eastlake have changed. Ralston just sitting at the back of the pack. He brings up the Demons first, and he Here's their first goal for the the uh, morning session here. 11.45 start here at Star Trek Oval. Dean Ralston waiting at the back of the pack. Read it better than them all. Let them all fly. All the Redland defenders went at it and he kicks the easiest of goals. Well done, Dean Ralston. He's sitting on 19 goals. That'll take him up to 20. Equal leading goal kicker for the East Lake Demons with Sam Martling, who's also got 20 goals. It'll be a battle of the goal kickers. For the Redland Bombers, Josh Pullman, the former Waffle player, he's on 24 goals. And the ex St Kilda centre half forward in Steve Gartner, he's got 21 goals. As we bring it back to the middle of the ground, it's Paxman to do battle with Brophy Williams. Not really capitalising on that good start. Boy, Paxman giving him first use of the footy, but that's a good clear out there. It's the representative player and Phil Cass. He drives the ball forward there towards that of Blake Grewer. Grewer was uh, just pushed off the footy there, but he gets his head over the footy. Unlucky not to get a free kick, but Bombers win it out there. It's through Brad Reese. He gets the opportunity to drive the ball forward, and that's great defence from the, the big fullback and the needful representative player in John Van Muir's. Very unlucky not to be voted best on ground in against Tasmania last week. He's an outstanding defender. He's the premier defender in the competition is John Van Muir's. Three minutes gone here at Marnica Oval. Eastlake, one straight kick, one goal. Redlands yet to score. Got an opportunity inside their forward 50 now as the umpire throws it in. It's the Steve Garten, the big centre half forward to do battle there with Brophy Williams. Cass, it was out. To, there's a chain of handballs there from East Lake. It's over to Wiles. Wiles gets it onto the right boot, and that's out towards that of, uh, of Hayden Armstrong, who did a great defensive job. Over to Brabazon again. He's class around the football is Ryan Brabazon. He gets it quickly onto the left boot, just gets it moving forward. And there's pressure being applied there from the East Lake Demons. And that's a quick kick away there by Dylan Byrne. Byrne for the Redland Bombers. He gets it across there towards Benny House fresh from the under-18s representative program for the New South Wales ACT Rams last week. For more reports, he had a fantastic carnival. Coach Burke would be loving having him back in the side as he's going to do contest in the ruck there as, of course, big uh, Chad Gibson, the captain, is out. Now it's Ned Brophy Williams. He gets to do a battle with Jay that is Jason Paxman, but it's Wiles coming up for his fourth possession over to Brabazon. <laughs> Clever play there, Ryan Brabazon. <laughs> he tried to fool them all, but he didn't fool the umpire nor the boundary line. As the umpire will bounce it up, will throw it in from 
roughly 65 metres from the red and gold. But he's like the better of the start there. But uh, Big Paxman, he gets first use to, out there towards the oh, Dwyer. He was a star in the representative program last week against Tasmania. He racked up 14 possessions in the first quarter. I bet the East Lake Demons would love to see him rack up 14 in the first quarter against the Redland Bombers. I don't think he'll be afforded that latitude. It's out there towards Maiden, but it beats them all and runs over the boundary line for another boundary line throw-in. Centre wing, Star Trek Oval Manica, round 13, cross-conference clash between the Redland Bombers and the East Lake Demons. Of course, Redland wearing their white strip as it clashes with the... They're both the Bombers colours. It's out to Stoyan off. He's had plenty of the footy in the opening stands. Yet another boundary line throw-in. Five minutes gone here at Star Trek Oval in Marnica. A must-win game for either side. So who's going to be the successful victor at the end of the day come about 2.45? But it's out towards Paxman. He's got a distinct height advantage out there. And that's a good play there by Moody. He swings around on the right boot out there towards Armstrong. He's found a rich vein of form since starring in that under-22 clash there. And he's found Ralston on the lead. He seems to have got his zing back as Dean Ralston in a clever lead and a great spot up there from Hayden Armstrong. He seems to grow a leg since he played in that under-22 carnival uh, over against Adelaide there, Hayden Armstrong, and he's been a, a, a quite... He's playing as a high half forward, but it's out to Dean Rolston. He's shooting for his second and possibly Eastlake's second. It'll be just the start coach, Burke, and the star-studded coaching staff of the Eastlake Demons would want it, of course. Guy Cannon up there, the representative coach, and he's hit the post as Rolston. So he doesn't extend his tally past the 20 goals, so he's kicked 1-1 already. And that's 117 to yet to score the Redland Bombers. As a quick point's been bought in, it's out there towards uh, that is Xavier McMahon out there. McMahon, he's been a, a, a solid contributor for the East Lake Demons in their uh, last couple of victories. He's an impressive player. He just gets the job done to Xavier McMahon. Yet another boundary line throw in. This will suit the Demons if they can run and spread, of course. The Anthony Weston up there with Coach Burke, of course, David Evans, all with senior coaching or playing experience. And, of course, the representative coach and Guy Cannon. So they've got a star-studded cast up in the coach's boss at the East Lake Demons. Let's see if they can pull a, a much-needed win off today for the Demons. Yet another boundary line thrown directly under the Jack Fingleton scoreboard here at Star Trek Oval. As the umpire throws it in, it's Paxman who gets first hand to the footy, but Eastlake are much better at the clearances at the stoppages. Is out to the boy in um, that of Grua. He, he's been a star already, has bright Grua. He's had five or six touches already. Of course, he played in that uh, NEFL program against South Australia in the under-22s, co coached by Sean Hart Stoyanoff, who's had a great start to the match also. Over to Moody, he collecting possessions at will, and that's down to Johnny Van Mules, who's followed the ball right down, out towards O'Dwyer, O'Dwyer gets the ball right into the middle of the ground there, out towards the boundary line, and it's going to beat all the players right near the East Lake behind post, and uh, Rolson just couldn't get to the front of the pack there, and it was rushed over for a boundary line throw, and this will suit East Lake if they can spread at the contest, as it's thrown in there, and it's a poor throw in by the umpire, as Paxman gets first hands to it, he didn't really uh, do much with it, but it beats Mardling over the boundary line, and we'll get yet another boundary line throw in, I think it's about 11 boundary line throw ins already, in uh, less than 7 minutes, 8 minutes of football already, so that's the sort of game we're in for, neither side able to get a commanding uh, fray, but that's out to Paxman again, and it's Shark by Mardling, he gets an opportunity to, but it's in the hands of the Redland defence, and it gets bought out there, and it's a good mark there by Gartner, of course, Gartner kicked 21 goals this year already, former St Kilda player is uh, Stevie Gart Gartner, as he gets the ball and he drives it long down the line, looking for that, it's one-handed mark, it was that of Pullman, Pullman was very unlucky not to take the grab, will be caught high, as he pleads to the umpire for a free kick, <laughs> but uh, he, they've got a, he's played a, what you would call a ticky touch, but he's played holding the ball decision there, and that's Nathan, Re Nathan Reed. no, it's Zane Pringle, he gets a handball over that to Brad Reese. back to Pringle, Pringle's chips, he puts it straight down the middle, of onto the 50 there, and that's 
a strong mark there by Pullman, but he dropped it, but it was well recovered there by Damien Stephen. Stephen over there towards Matt Thompson, the runner, Matty Thompson. If you don't mind, he gets Redland's first goal. And that was a good chain of events there, and it was created by the contest of the big man in Josh Pullman, the number four for the Redland Bombers, as Matt Thompson gets Redland's first score. As they go to 117 East Lake, Redlands 16, nine minutes gone here. Cross conference clash, East Lake Demons v Redland Bombers. What's well, been a fast start here by both sides? As the umpire brings the ball back to the middle of the ground, it's Brophy Williams to do battle with Paxman. He's just getting body in the contest. They're not getting any real cleared advantage. That's Moody's fourth or fifth clearance out of the middle of the ground, but it was only as far as Travis Reynolds. He hacks it out of the air. Over there to Sam Smith. Over to Benny House. House takes it over towards that of Joey Hancock. Hancock gets to run and play on now. He should take a couple of them on as Hancock. He goes in towards that of Ned Brophy Williams. Brophy Williams with a poor handball there to the run towards... That of, it was the number 37 in Cam Squires for East Lake in today. So, uh, and that's a poor mistake in the middle of the ground as Johnny Van Mills tries to mop up. He should get a free kick there. He was caught without the footy held by Gartner. But Gartner does some heavy work on the ground there for the Redland Bombers and he gets it towards their goal. But only as far as the boundary line, it'll be a throw in in a handy throw in position. I think the umpire's called out of bounds on the full. Yes, he has. He has called out of bounds on the full there. I thought it bounced inside the line there. But a free kick will be taken there in the key defensive post there by Nick Perry, who seems to have struck a little bit of form after struggling a little bit earlier in the season with a few niggling injuries. That's uh, another welcome addition to the ranks there. But it's out to Moody. That's about his sixth or seventh touch for the quarter. Josh Moody is racking them up at the moment. Moody gets it as far as Armstrong, who gets the hands up. That was a good lead and a good grab there by Hayden Armstrong. He's on today. He's Hayden Armstrong. He switches the ball across the ground towards that of the under-18 Rams player in Ben House. House, a little bit undecided what to do with the footy. He goes towards that of Sam Smith. Only punched away there by the Pringles chip and Zane Pringle, but it was well mopped up there by Squires. Squires down towards that of O'Connell. O'Connell couldn't take it. Here comes the Redland defence streaming out. Out there, it's out there towards that of the East Lake player in Lee McMahon, and he drives it forward, and it's out of bounds for yet another boundary line throw in. So, a couple of the East Lake ball magnets finding the ball early, storing off Moody. Haven't seen much of Aaron Bruce. Benny House has had a couple of touches, so. Welcome signs for Coach Burke. It's out towards that of Ralston. He takes two or three defenders on. He swings around on the right foot only as far as Bruce. He was caught behind on this occasion. You're not going to get too many kicks from there, but it's out towards that of Reed. Reed mops up, but out towards Armstrong. Another quick taken disposition out towards Mesman. He finds the unmarked O'Dwyer, and I think the bounce is going to beat him over the boundary line. And that it does. So we get yet another boundary line throw in here at Star Trek Oval Monica. 12 minutes gone in the first quarter. It's East Lake 117, Redlands 16. So a point in it as the umpire throws it in. Third man up was Ralston, only as far as the Redland defenders as they're battling on gamely. It's out towards Jordan Bain. Bain hooks it around on the left foot, and it's going to be yet another boundary line throwing in what's a scrappy first quarter here. 12 minutes gone, two scoring shots, so not really either side struggling to uh, trouble the scoreboard, but uh, nonetheless an entertaining clash here at Star Trek Overly Monica in this cross-conference round 13 match. It's East Lake Demons v Redland. It's out there towards that of Blake Grill. He's been busy early for Redland, but it was a poor kick and it was intercepted there by Dan O'Connell. O'Connell right on the 50-metre arc. He gets an opportunity to drive the ball long. He looks and keeps it low. Out towards that of Ralston, and he's found him. A deep pocket there and a hard shot for Dean Ralston. He likes the impossible. He's found a, a, the last couple of weeks he's really gone up a gear and he found a, has found a bit of confidence in his body as Dean Ralston. He's a very important player for the East Lake Demons. He looks like he's enjoying the footy as they swing the changes. As Maiden and Brabazon come on for Moody and O'Dwyer. But we go back to Dean Ralston. He has to keep it right at the post and I think he has. 
No, he has. He likes it off the boot. That's his second. He now leads the goal scoring for the Eastlake Demons with 21 for the season. And that's their second. 2-1-13 to Redlands. One straight kick six. Back to the play now, and that's out towards that of Reese. Paxman got it down towards Reese, and he was lucky. He got a free kick there. It's over to Reese, and he brings it wider to the centre wing. Out towards that of the Queensland under 18 in Luke Rogerson. Rogerson further afield to the zinc cream. Phil Cast. Cast with the zinc cream on him, and he sees the big leader, Pullman. He's got a nice set of hands. It's Josh Pullman. You can see why he's kicked 24 goals for the season. But it goes across to that big puncher, Johnny Van Muers. JVM, as he likes to be called. Called. He punches the ball away from Jordan Bain. That's why he's the premier defender in the competition, is John Van Muir's. With acts like that, you'd love to have him week in, week out in your side if you're building a side. But he's a fantastic player, is John Van Muir's. This big Pullman was strong on the lead there and uh, probably should have went back and dobbed it into the gold square and looking for the big hands there of Gartner and test the Eastlake defence. But uh, big Jim Van Muir's, he just got the big mitts all over it and knocked it over the boundary line. It's Mesman to do battle there with Gartner. Only as far as Mesman again. As Mesman's on hands and knees and he's lucky he's not caught over the top of the shoulder there as the umpire is blindsided. He's got no alternative but to ball them that up. About 40 metres out from the Redland goal. Must make the most of this scoring opportunities. His gardening goes up in the ruck against Mesman. He got quite high, but it's cleared away by Benny House. House out towards Mardling. Over towards Lee McMahon, who has a quick look. Gets it on that trusty left foot. He sees Maiden streaming forward. Out towards Ralston. He's creating all sorts of damage out there. As Ralston for Daniel Zufa, who the poor Ma Brisbane Lion. As Ralston heads it down towards the goal square. and was an unlucky bounce. It's taken away by Travis Reynolds as they get to mop it up through Daniel Deucefer again. Deucefer gets it as far as the number five in Sam Godfrey. Sam Godfrey brings the ball out towards the centre wing and it's only as far as Chris Thompson. And it's back in board towards that of Daniel Zufa. Zufa or Deucefer? Zufa I think it is. It's a silent D. Former uh, Brisbane line is Zufa. He brings it across there and that's a great grab there by Tom Salter. Salter in the middle of the ground. He gets a one-on-one -on -one contest there with Pullman and he's got a free kick there. Nick Perry just caught him high. So big Pullman. He'll get an opportunity opportunity to shoot for his 25th about 35 metres 40 metres out from goal and a badly needed one for Redland it'll just keep him in check so it'll keep it at one point the difference is he's successful in uh, getting this one is Josh Pullman 24 goals for the season has Josh Pullman in the Northern Conference for the Redland Bombers just sitting outside the five in a must win game doesn't go far back he gets under it and that's about his distance and he gets right under it in fact and he didn't take much of a run up there but it's only as far as that of Cass. Cass gets front and centre, he gets it around on his right boot and it hits the post, does Phil Cass. So that's their first behind for the afternoon now I think here at Star Trek Oval as we're 17 minutes into the first quarter it's about two minutes past 12 here in a slightly overcast day but a perfect day for football and that was a good strong attempt there by Zufa again he knocked the ball to the ground I mean, it was a quick kick there, attempted off the ground by Mesman, and uh, it's just shuffling it out towards that of Brabazon, and it's going to beat. No, it's going to be Zufa again. He takes on Brabazon, and he was done. He's done well there, and he gives a quick handball over to Godfrey. Godfrey back to Zufa. I think the umpire's elected to throw it in. It's gone out again. Yes, it has. A far side here at Star Trek Oval. It is. Travis Reynolds to do battle in the ruck there with uh, Ned Brophy Williams who's going to have to battle manfully today of course the captain Chad Gibson's out with an oblique injury it could be a season ending injury or it could be one of those four, one, four week injuries 
an interesting industry there by Chad Gibson, but uh, it's just hacked out of the air there, only as far as Luke Rogerson. Rogerson gets the handball over there towards Gartner. Gartner gets the big mitts out, the number 17 for the Redland Bombers. He gets an opportunity in front of Johnny Van Muir's. He wore him like a glove, did Van Muir's. 45 out from goal. 21 goals for the season has Stevie Gartner. The former St Kilda listed player it gets an opportunity to put Redland second on the board and to tie the game up here at Star Trek Oval. 19 minute mark as we ride it in with Gartner. He gets close to the man on the mark and he swings it right and it's going to miss all of it. And I think that's a mark on the line. Yes, it is. And that's a good mark on the line there uh, to Xavier McMahon. McMahon gets it out to Stoyanoff. He's had a solid open court and uh, has Ricky Stoyanoff. The number 13 Stoyanoff, he sees Mesman inboard and they're doing as they like. There's not a lot of tackle pressure pressure applied from the Redland Bombers and that's a poor kick off the boot there by Mesman only as far as John Van Mills. Van Mills gets it by hand to Bimini House. House takes it on. He runs now over towards Wiles. Wiles over towards Maiden. Maiden gets to, he looks inboard as he takes it on towards Ned Brophy Williams and that's a solid grab there on the chest of Ned Brophy Williams. He brings it across the ground here towards, oh it's a poor error there towards Nick Perry. Perry now makes it a two on one contest and it's one there by Damien and Stephen inboard towards Tom Salter. Salter in towards that of Jordan Bain dropped what he should have taken. It's over towards that of Blake Grewer. Grewer dropped it but he takes them all on now. It is Grewer and he gets a scrubby looking kick off. He lost his balance there did young Blake Grewer and uh, yes he get to put it out of bounds there but a boundary line throw in right near the Redlands goal. Another opportunity for Redland failing to capitalise on a couple of shots at goal from their tour forwards and it's put down there by Gartner it's only as far as O'Dwyer O'Dwyer gets it out towards Brabazon Brabazon directing traffic okay by hand again out towards O'Dwyer playing the old one two O'Dwyer takes 10-15 steps and he gets it on that right boot he's got a lovely kick but it was intercepted there by Matt Sondergold for the Redland Bombers and there's a 50 metre penalty the umpires picked out I'm not quite sure what that was for I think it must have been an infringement over the mark it was young Dan O'Connell so it will bring Sondergold right in front 30 metres out in a musket goal here for the Redland Bombers they've been doing all the attacking but not applying any scoreboard pressure and he's going to take the proverbial run up almost from the Kingston shops does Matt Sondergold pity his forwards didn't take a leaf out of their book as Sondergold comes in on the left boot and he has put it through for a goal. That's their second and that's a, a very much needed one to apply some scoreboard pressure. They've had all the play for the last, last 10 or so minutes. So that's the, the Redland Bombers second. As it's all tied up here in the first quarter of the North Eastern Football League clash. North versus East in a cross-conference clash. 21 minute mark, 13 apiece. Redland Bombers, East Lake Demons. Of course, the Redland Bombers coached by a former East Lake product in Greg Seaton Lonsdale. Greg played a hundred odd senior games for the East Lake. A former assistant coach there for the senior side. Very successful women's coach as well. And that's a free kick in the middle of the ground to Stoyanoff. And it's been played on the advantage. Taken away by Moody. Another clearance out of the middle of the ground. And only as far as that a Jack Goodall from... And it's a free kick out here to a Ralston for hands in the back. They've got a free kick on the ground there as Dean Ralston gets an opportunity to, to shoot for his uh, third goal. Doing all the scoreboard uh, pressure is young Dean Ralston. Of course, 21 goals for the season. Takes him to the leading goal kicker for the Demons. He gets an opportunity for his third in the first quarter. After good lead-up work by Stoyanoff and Moody in the middle of the ground. Ralston with an awkward style there, but he likes it off the boot. That's his third, and that's the Demons' third as well. So a great start in the quarter for Dean Ralston. As he gets the quick reply for the Demons. It's 3-1. 19 to 2 1 13 here at Star Trek Oval Monica. 23 minutes gone in the first quarter. Redland Bombers, let's see how they react to this one. If they can reply with a quick back-to-back -back goal. 
It's what they really need for either side to get an advantage. Would need back to back goals. Back to the middle of the ground, it's Brophy Williams to do battle with uh, Big Paxman, but that's a poor bounce there by the umpire. He'll bring it back to the middle of the ground. Of course, Ned Brophy Williams giving away centimetres in the middle of the ground there. He's battled manfully, he gets his first hand on the footy. They've won all the clearances of the Demons. It's out to Wiles, got some good clearance plays out to Mesman. Quick handball over there to Hancock. Hancock beats three, would be, and it's again, it's out to Lang. He's been super impressive this season as young Matty Lang, but not on this occasion. He goes looking for the big sticks, but he puts it out of bounds on the full. Probably had a little bit more time than he thought, uh, but that'll come with maturity as uh, it's brought in by the Redland side, and that's a good mark there to young Dylan Byrne. Free kick, push in the back. As Byrne gets an opportunity to put Redland out of the danger zone, he's going to go across the ground. Over there towards Zufa, it is. No, it's not Zufa, it's out towards Reynolds. Reynolds over there towards Nathan Reed as they uh, three kicks across inside 50, gain no ground. So that's good composure and good holding of the zone there by the East Lake forwards. And it's out there towards, I think that's uh, Zufa out there now with the footy. Zufa gets the ball out towards that of Bain. Jordan Bain, he comes inboard, but only as far as Josh Moody. He can run and carry the footy. Got a good shepherd there from Johnny Van Muers, but he wastes the ball to Josh Moody. He didn't see any of his East Lake teammates. It's only as far as Dylan Byrne, and they get the opportunity to release the pressure. It's out towards Tyler Jones. Tyler Jones, he gets a quick chip over the top there towards Chris Thompson. Of course, the goal scorer there for... It was Mass Thompson, sorry. So it's Chris Thompson now. He brings the ball down the centre wing out there towards that of Jordan Bain. It was punched away there by Xavier McMahon. He slides. He must keep his feet in that situation, does McMahon. he got much more chance of clearing the footy. But uh, it's players just diving on the ball there. And the umpire has no alternative but to a call a bounce right near the boundary line. 60 metres from the uh, Redland goal, only as far as Hancock, he couldn't handle it and was rushed over the boundary line for yet another boundary line throw in. Here at Star Trek Oval, round 13, both sides needing a win. 3 1 19 to East Lake Redlands, 2 1 13, 26 minutes gone, first quarter, out towards Mardling, out towards Armstrong, Mardling, Mardling burrows in over the footy, only as far as that of Lange. He got his head taken off there by Chris Thompson, only as far as Brad Reese for the Redland Bombers, as there's a pack forming there, and there should have been a free kick there to Brad Reese, the number two. The umpire failed to call it. He's now going to call him for holding the ball if you don't mind so Lee McMahon showed all his experience there gave him one to get up with as well so Lee McMahon gets an opportunity to put Eastlake further into attack it goes out towards that of uh, Ralston it should have been a free kick there was a two on one he's lost his feet there as Armstrong had an opportunity to kick Eastlake's fourth but only as far as the point post so Hayden Armstrong another scoring shot for the Demons they've had uh, 75% of the play in this uh, opening stanza. Not really skipping away with a game, but it's out there towards Van Muers. Van Muers has been chased by Gartner. Van Muers down towards that there of uh, Sam Godfrey, who intercepts it for Redland Bombers. He gets an opportunity now to settle the play down for Redland. If they can just build something on the go forward, but that's a poor kick, and it was chopped off there by House. House punches it over the boundary line. We'll get a boundary line throw in centre wing. Here, Northeastern Conference, cross conference game, Redland Bombers, East Lake Demons, 27 minute mark, East Lake 3 2 20, Redlands 2 1 13. That's out towards Paxman. Paxman, he gets his first hands towards it. He's uh, not really giving the first use of the footy to the Redland. They're failing to capitalise on that height advantage in the middle of the ground. Eastlake doing extremely well in the clearances there, and that's a good grab there to Mardling as the Redland. Defender went up early and Marling just stood his ground. He gets an opportunity to build another attack there and as it's Rolston, he gets a run and jump at the footy and he gets a mark. Dean Rolston, he gets an opportunity to put his fourth on the board and Eastlake's fourth on the board. He's going to kick all the goals in the opening stanza. So that's a wonderful first quarter for Dean Rolston. 22 goals for the season come into this round with 19, led by Sam Mardling for Eastlake on 20 goals, but Ralston overtaking him with three goals in this quarter, shooting for his fourth. 
Four goals, one if he kicks this one. So a brilliant first quarter from Dean Ralston as he lines up and Ralston makes no mistake about that one. Dean Ralston, four goals in the quarter. That's a fantastic start from the man they call Dingo. He's kicked all their score, bar the point from Hayden Armstrong. So a wonderful opening stander from, stanza from Dean Ralston. East Lake skipped further away, 4 2 26 to 2 1 13, doubled the Redlands score. They've had a lot of the play in the opening quarter. Redlands just failing to capitalise on the height advantage in the middle of the ground with Paxman. The East Lake on ballers have been superb in this quarter. Stoyanoff, Wiles, Moody, Maiden. As we see a change in the ruck now, it's Mesman doing battle there with Paxman as they look to change it up. As the umpire bounces it down, and it's big Paxman. He gets first use of the footy only as far as Brad Reese, but it was taken away there with a quick handball over there by the number 18 and Damien Stephen, but only as far as Mesman again. He gets a quick handball out to Matty Lang. Lang gets it onto the left out to, to Mardling, who gets down on one knee. He had more time than he thought, and it was a, a quick kick there from Sam Mardling. He gets another score on the board for the East Lake Demons. Only a minor score, though. As they mount a ding-dong battle between him and Dean Ralston for the leading goal kicker. It's in the hands of Jordan Bain. Bain brings the ball out towards that of Chris Thompson. Thompson gets an opportunity to come down the centre wing. Only as far as Matt Thompson, the goal scorer, the headband Matt Thompson. Out there towards that of Zane Pringle. And it was punched away there by Sammy Smith. So well done to Sam Smith. In front of the chip, Zane Pringle. It's the umpire right in front of the commentary box here. Gets to throw it in yet again. He's going to work out in this first quarter as he hits Paxman with first hands to the footy. And it's uh, the umpire's, or the, the siren sounds for the end of the first quarter as Rhys kicks the ball away. It's the East Lake Demons here at Star Trek Oval with all the scoring. 4 3 27, leading Redlands 2 1 13. Dean Ralston with four goals in the quarter in a brilliant opening stanza. We'll be back here shortly through neufel.com.au live streaming East Lake v Redlands.